Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. It is a cold, dreary, rainy day outside today, so I thought it'd be a good time to cover something where I don't have to be outside. I wanted to talk about why is the Toyota Tacoma so special? What's so special about the Toyota Tacoma? And you know, whether you like the Tacoma or not, you have to agree it is special because it's been number one for so long and so many people buy them. So we're going to run through a few reasons why I think it's so special. Number one, we're going to lump this all together. Quality, durability, and reliability. You know, you may get the flashy new things out there, and we get those from time to time, but time is what proves something to be durable and reliable and quality. And that's what the Toyota Tacoma has done. Toyota has just soldiered ahead with their slow redesigns, their few and far between improvements or additions, because they wanted to build something that was going to satisfy those three requirements. And they've done it. I think it's one of the biggest reasons why Toyota has been number one with the Tacoma for so long. And after all, don't forget, they're also the only company uh, really that stuck around in the midsize or small truck market when everybody else bailed. Now everybody else has jumped back in, of course, because they realize needs or wants have changed with the buying community, right? So we've got all kinds of different options, but Toyota remains number one. You can't stop them. They just keep going and going and going. It's also why they hold their value so well, because they last and people know that. So it's the number one vehicle value retention truck, how's that, uh, that you can buy out there because they do hold their value so well due to the fact that they last forever. They're also used all over the place in all kinds of extreme situations. You name it, and a Tacoma has probably been in a video or a picture of somebody doing something extreme with the truck. Number two, off-road capability and accessorization. That's a word that I came across on a website somewhere, accessorization, or maybe it's accessorization. I don't know. But what they mean by that is the number of accessories and the things that you can do with the truck. You know, as far as off-roading goes, and I'm not a big-time off-roader, but I'm not blind either. You know, it has better proportions, obviously, than a full-size truck does. If you're going to go off-roading somewhere, you don't want to take some big behemoth of a truck that's not going to fit anywhere. And Toyota has kind of balanced both, I think, what we want. We want something that's big enough that you don't feel like you're riding around in a Volkswagen Beetle, but not so big that you don't feel like you're in a, a dually pickup truck, right? You have to be able to fit through places, fit on the narrow trails, and even fit into parking places at the mall. And I think one of the things that Toyota has really done is they've delivered a truck or come up with a truck that satisfies the needs of people who don't really need a truck. You know, the weekend warriors who maybe want to go to the store and pick up something that you wouldn't want to put in your trunk or in your nice, fancy, expensive SUV. Also, the cool factor of having a truck. I mean, let's be honest. Having a truck is cool. Look at the Back to the Future movie. Remember that Toyota? It was a 1985. That's what really turned people on to the mid-sized trucks, I think. Oh, Marty McFly, he loved that truck. He wanted that truck. And that made everybody else want one as well. And if you don't believe me, check out the popularity of that truck these days amongst the Tacoma community. It's probably one of the most highly sought after or highly regarded anyway pickup trucks out there, I think. That Marty McFly Toyota, awesome truck. Now, I mentioned accessorization. There are tons of mods in the aftermarket. Even Toyota themselves have jumped into the aftermarket with the TRD versions, and now with this new Trail Hunter that's coming. I've heard, and you know, rumors are always true, 
I've heard that you're going to be able to customize this truck more when you go to order it, right? You're going to be able to kind of pick and choose things. Not so much an a la carte menu, but you're going to be able to pick and choose different accessorizations uh, that Toyota themselves are offering for this truck. It's going to be awesome. Although I'm sure it's going to come at a hefty price. They're going to be looking at huge markups for these extra add-ons that they're going to offer. But the good thing is, is that there's such a huge multi-million dollar aftermarket community out there that you don't have to buy this stuff from Toyota. You can go ahead and pick it up yourself after you have the truck. Most of the installs are bolt-on and Toyota designed it that way. I think to make modding the Tacoma a little bit easier for themselves as well. They don't have to spend a ton of money and labor having guys bolt on parts either. They are simple to do, and that's one of the big attractions for the Tacoma, especially for me. Number three, there's a Toyota Tacoma for everybody. I mean, you look at the trim lines, the models that you get to choose from. You've got the SR, the SR5, the TRD, Sport, and Off-Road. You've got the Limited and, of course, the TRD Pro. There's even a Workman model out there that nobody ever talks about. And honestly, I'm not sure how easy it is to get a hold of that model. But along with these different models or different versions, there's also different price points. So there's a Toyota Tacoma for everybody. Now, the one truck that could undo this, and maybe the reason Toyota won't sell this truck is the rumored Stout. You know, if Toyota comes out with the Stout, which is a smaller truck, rumored to be all electric, and if that's the case, probably not going to be a factor. But if it's a naturally aspirated four-cylinder, even a turbo, I'd love to see a six in it, then it's going to take a bite out of the Tacoma. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who might go with the Stout as opposed to the Tacoma itself. That might be the reason why we never see a Stout, although it depends on what website and what talking head you listen to. They say that this version, this Stout small truck, is supposed to come out in mid-2024 or 2025. Now, Toyota's not going to be able to ignore the micro truck market if it continues to be as popular and even grow as it is right now. They'll have no choice. They'll have to jump in. But I think that could actually hurt the Toyota Tacoma because some of those sales, they're going to go towards that stout. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Why is the Toyota Tacoma so special? Why is it special for you? Why did you buy the Tacoma as opposed to, say, the Tundra, a full-size truck, or maybe a Ford Ranger or even a micro truck these days? Let me know. I'd be curious. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.